All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Stick War Legacy. Now, there's been a big update that has been teased for quite a while, and that, my friends, as we click the skins button, is the giant skins update. This used to say, coming soon. It used to not have anything. When you look at the giant now, you can see this interesting club. When you click on him, look at this. The default giant, having no skins of his own, now has three different weapon types. Before, it was always just the club. This is awesome. There was obviously Griffin the Great, but like, look at the tier four one. But here's where it gets crazy. These skins are absurdly expensive. I think 6,000 diamonds is like 45 US dollars. So to get the vampire, the top tier one, which has life steal, poison immunity, and earthquake, it's like 45 bucks. There's a lot of really cool looking ones, but my favorite is the savage skin. Because it looks like he's wearing a triceratops head as a helmet with like emerald eyes and then a woolly mammoth skull on a club as his weapon. We're getting it and we're gonna try out the new giants skins in Stick War Legacy. So what we're gonna wanna do is first go to a tournament mode. Oh, it looks like we're in a, a round of hard difficulty in a tournament. Hmm, let's play the next round. A pile of rocks stands between you and the enemy. Hack them down to get the pass. All right, this is actually very good for me because what I'm gonna do is, well, like first off, we're gonna upgrade the giant. So now you can see he will get his top tier looking skins. I also want miners, and I'm thinking archers. And then we'll go economy. Basically, we'll give a crown to our statue here, and now it is time to go out here. All right, so one of the things I never really liked about tournament mode was how silly the people you're fighting are. Like, I don't know why I'm fighting an old granny. Like, grannies make the best cookies. They're the best cooks. Like, they're just sweet, sweet people. Why am I fighting a grandma? Why am I gonna release a giant who's wearing a dinosaur as a head? War. That's why. They say war never changes, but how many wars have people fought grandmothers? So, there you go. War does change. Alright, so we're getting really close to $1,500, and that's what it's gonna cost to get our first giant out on the battlefield. Now, look at this. This is another... Uh, update. Now, this is the beta branch that you can opt into on, I'm using, I'm playing on Android, so I was able to do it via the Google Play Store. Oh, look at this poor miner, he's, he's a little lost. He's like, you built too many of us and I ain't got any job. And here we go. Here's the giant. But yes, manpower is now out of 50, not out of 40. That's great, because now we can make more giants, and I'm very excited for that. But look at him, he's, he's got a triceratops. A skull helmet and a mammoth skull warhammer. Like, it's obscene. It's obtuse. It's deliciously beautiful. And I love it. I'm so glad that there are giant skins. I'm actually kind of curious as to why there weren't any in the past. So we've got what? Three giants? What are you making over here? Yeah, look, Grandma's got a ball of yarn in like needles. That's that's her sigil. Granny. You're great, like, you, your sigil should have been a, a beautiful chocolate chip cookie, okay? But instead, I guess you're just, you sew things, right? All right. Time to attack, our force is greatly outnumbered. Well, Gandalf, I want a third one. And actually, I, I have a third one, I mean a fourth one. So another thing that I think would be kind of cool if, like, you could have different classes of giants, like, I don't know, like, it's almost like the giants are pulling another, it's not a regular person. It's like a smaller giant, and they're just pulling them behind them, right? And it's like, I don't understand why. I would, I wish they had like, two giant hammers, or maybe a hammer and a shield. Or maybe if you gave a giant like, a bow and arrow, it'd be like a ballista. You know what I mean? And he, the giant with the ballista, oh, oh, they're attacking. I was like, what's that sound? That sounds funny. Yes! Come forward, you little miscreants. I will destroy you with my army of giants. That was literally the perfect map to start to. This poor miner's gonna be the first one to go. Oh, they do have a wizard, don't they? They've got a cave troll. No. I have dinosaur slaying giants. Oh. Someone, yep, there goes my miner. So, th <laughs> they took that down halfway, killed the miner, and then stopped attacking. This is the most giants I've ever purchased, I've ever had. Even when playing the uh, zombies or deads mode, I'm fairly certain. Alright, the enemy is about to break through. 
So like once it gets really low, I'm charging them. Oh, you've got a cute little giant. So this is what the giants used to look like. Now, when you leveled them up, they did get bigger, but visually they didn't look any different. There wasn't an appreciable artistic difference to indicate their level other than their size. So now they're gonna rally behind there. <laughs> you idiots! It's time to die! Alright, watch their whole army crumble right here. Boom, boom, boom! We've also got the earthquake ability. Do the earthquake thingy! Alright, they did the little Archidon fire ability, but I don't think we've lost anybody. Their giant's already destroyed. I'm sending my men into attack. We've got one that's about, what, at half health, but when you see the little red numbers ticking off in 15, 35, and seeing how it does, like, a very, very little to his overall health pool, one must think, wow, it's good to be a giant. We're huge. I think I just bought another one. There he is. Reinforcements. There you get to see him in all of his splendor. He looks like he's a little shorter than the rest of them. But yeah. So, uh, the new giant skin, guys. What we could do, I kind of want to show off the regular giants. Um, turn their skin off because I want to see what it's like to have a tier 4 regular skin giant. And then, well, this was very enjoyable. I think it's time for my nap. No, I've conquered your kingdom, Granny. You are now gonna be sent to the bakeries, where you must basically make cookies for my army. All right, so let's go back to the main menu. Let's go back to skins here. And I wanna click on the giant, and I wanna go back to classic, which is just the classic look, because I wanna see this new Warhammer one. So here we are, we're in the quarterfinals of the hard tournament. We're going to play the next round, and we gotta fight Team Star with a small amount of gold and two miners. All right, this one's gonna be a little trickier to show off giants, but here we go. Watch what happens to the giant. Upgrade level one. Now he's got a bone. Upgrade level two. Now he's got a war hammer. Upgrade level three, or I guess that gets him a zero, one, two, three, or is it one, two, three, four? Anyway, he's got like a glowing hammer with a skull on it. Pretty cool. And I think one of the other things we're gonna want is Archidens this time. So we'll, we'll be ready for battle. I basically went for economy. Yo, let's do this. Good luck, bro. Thanks, man. Oh. Now, is this an indication of, like, what we should be expecting on the battle? If he worships the Spiritans? Because these, these are like statues. They could be like temples. I always thought that they could be temples, right? All right, so I'm gonna pump out two Archidons because the goal here is to have at least a little bit of defense. I'm gonna go ahead and pump out one more miner, and then I think... Oh, what are you doing over there? He just selected it. This means that the enemy is controlling it. Controlling that unit specifically. I really want to get a giant out, but I'm only two-thirds of the way there. Oh, uh, we're two-thirds the way there. And there we go. All right, our first giant is in queue, and it looks like he's building relatively quickly, so we're going to see the default skin tier four giant, which I love how there's a difference. Just like this one, I think like if I knew better, I think bronze is like tier one armor, and that sword might be like tier three or tier four. Let's get another giant. You can always tell that way. You can always tell that stuff. All right, and so this is kind of cool. Like, I think they did a cool job, but they just missed the overall theme of the game. Like, the fact that his spiritons look different is cool. I love it. But when they're using skateboards and biker helmets, it's like, why? Ah, there he is! There he is! The giant. All right, we're gonna get two of these guys, and then we're gonna go for three in just a moment. There we go. I love this music. Oh, they're attacking. Attack! Giants to the front lines! Protect the miners! Oh my god, look at that. Instant death to the sword wrath. The Spiritans, however, with their shields, which are, remind you, are skateboards. Um, they're able to soak up a decent amount of damage, and give these Archidens a decent amount to, like, kind of shoot at, right? So, yeah, let's go ahead and get another giant. I think, there we go. Number three. Giant number three is coming up. And number four is in the queue. Style for miles, bro. And then, like, you can't even close these dialogues, so they just, like, 
kind of ruin the atmosphere of the, the battle there, I think, as well. I think it could be done differently. I mean, I would have done it differently, but I'm, I'm glad it is in the game as opposed to not being in the game at all. Style for miles, bro. And I, I gotta say that this one looks like we're going to win. Upgrading giants, even on the hard difficulty for these tournaments. These poor miscreants don't seem to have much of a chance. But, uh, what's their special ability? There we go. Achievement unlocked. What do we, what do we, first kill as a giant. Oh, nice. I guess I never had that before. We never really focused on the giants. So what, we're going to the semi-final rounds here? And we're gonna have to fight Willow, the emo princess. So let's go back to the skins here. And I want to see, so this one is like $45. 2000 I think was like 30 20 30 bucks 20 bucks maybe I think I'm gonna get this one this one's cheap um, and it looks like our Giants will be like I am Groot on a tier 4 level plus they get a build speed increase and a build cost decrease and all of the skins get the earthquake ability remind so honestly $200 for this is pretty good but then obviously as they get older, like Savage is the best for the undeads. Although immunity to poison is really good for against the undeads as well. So we're gonna go for the I am Groot skin and we're gonna go back into our tournament here. We're gonna continue we're on the, the semi-final rounds of a hard tournament against Willow the Emo Princess. Team start with 14 miners and a ton of gold. Okay, this means giants. So remember at this upgrade screen, this is kind of where we get to preview what it looks like. So giant growth, 30% giant health. They also get bigger. So now he's got a little more twigs. I wish you, can you un-upgrade? You can. That would be nice. Tier two. Oh, did I, did I double click? That's weird, I didn't mean to. I swear this never happens. Oh God, I don't need, I don't need uh, miners, do I? And so like, Here's what, tier one. His shield is tier one, helmet. It's kind of cool how there's that difference. I do like that. We'll upgrade the Archidin to like, I don't know what to call it, tier zero, one, two, three, or one, two, three, four. I want to call it one, two, three, four. So he's at tier three. <laughs> I say with great pause. All right, so we've got plenty of miners, right? So let's get an archer out. Just to protect... Oh yeah, we, we've got to fight over the middle grounds here. So actually what you're going to want is lots of sword wrath. So we kind of... We, we probably messed up, but we'll see. And we'll send our guys just into attack mode. I really want a spear to out early, but... Uh, I think... Oh, we're about to get a bucket load of money. Let's get another miner. Hey! And our guy's just got a regular club. His has like the gold encrusted uh, swords. Which means he's upgraded. Oh, that guy just took an arrow to the face. I love this music. It's so triumphant, man. Oh, my guy just got a headshot. Oh, he's aiming at a miner and I'm not. So that's that's the issue. What I really want to do, though, is get a giant out quick. Our archer, if our archer can target that guy and take him out, we've got a very good chance. There we go. We got a spiritin out. So we we can save up. We can start saving up. And look at that. See, the uh, now instead of $1,500, this skin, the I am, as I'm going to call it, the I am Groot skin, um, it allows us to then get him at, what, $150 less, which is pretty cool. And Spiritin versus Spiritin, they're blocking each other. A lot of their attacks are being negated in our archers shooting at their miner. But don't worry, we've got I am Groot, the giant slayer. I love it. All right, Grooty Groot. And we'll get another one now that we can afford a second one. We'll just send him out there. The Spearton just fell. The timing was perfect. He invested in a wizard. And all of the little summonable minions are pretty much just like the exact type of units that the giant specializes in destroying. So she just used a special ability, the Archer in Fire Mode. Basically, when Leonidas is like, we will fight in the shade, or our arrows will block out the sun, and then we'll fight in the shade, right? There we go, two giants. That, Mr. Anderson, is the sound of inevitability, and I'm gonna get a third one. Yeah, like, look at the- look at the Spiritan shield. I think it was a very- a big missed opportunity the way that they did the AI, uh, types in the tournament. And making them real world as opposed to Inamorta themed. But I love these skins. Oh my god, that's so many archers. All right, if they got tons of archers, I'm gonna bring in some spear tins here. I should have a third giant coming up, so reinforcements from now on are going to be spear tins. And honestly, whatever I think we need. <laughs> yeah, having the cost decrease 
is a very, very interesting strategic advantage, I think. Okay, we're about- there we go! Our first giant falls. Are there any new animations for them? It doesn't seem to be. But he's like, oh, it's like- it's like Game of Thrones. Where they fall to their knees and they just kind of look out there and then they get an arrow in the eyeball. Hey, Look at that AOE effect right there. Yeah, so this is- they went for giants too. This is the giant statue. Watch, there's gonna be a text blurb that pops up, which I won't be able to close. So I, I move it to the side so that I can actually see the health bar of what's going on. They definitely upgraded their miners, but I guess... I wonder- I wonder what that would be like. That's like the Joseph Stalin strategy. If you get a skin that decreases the cost of all your units, and then you got the perks where your guys would mine faster, could you just simply outproduce? Here's a lame spell. That was just beyond late. So, as we conquer her, and she gets all sad and lame, we're gonna go to the final round here. That actually gets me thinking, what I think I wanna do here is, I wanna... The vamp skin's cool, and I did pay a lot for it, but build speed increase? We're gonna do that. Yeah, I've got, I've got that for pretty much all of my units. I never bought this one. Hey, I've got the whole pack! I feel like I should get an accomplishment for that, so we, we're using the forest people here. And we're gonna go back to our tournament, and we're gonna play the final round and try to beat this, and we're gonna try to beat Z4CK. Both teams start with a huge amount of gold, Zach. Are you ready to fight my giants? Yeah, definitely upgrading the giants. And then, if we start with him, look at that, he has like a- Whoa. That's pretty cool. We're gonna try to upgrade them all. But I do like how visually you can see plus one minions per level. Yeah, let's get more minions. All right, so we're doing the Joseph Stalin strategy right now. We'll get a giant, we'll get a giant, and then we'll probably switch to the other ones. Now, it's the Joseph Stalin strategy on a map where we get a ton of gold, so does that even make sense? Did they summon a giant? I feel like they must have summoned a giant. And I'm gonna send my guys on attack straight from the beginning. He did, but see, look at this. This is what a tier one giant looks like. We can tell based off his club. I also like how his are red. I wish mine... Like, it just... Hmm. That is easy to see the difference, right? So, giant versus giant, who dies faster? We're cheaper. Wait, oh, he's user controlling his, so that's... We'll get four of those guys. Five, well, five and five. And then go back to giants. And then we're out of gold, actually, so let's go ahead and... Boop, boop. Do we have miners? We do have a few miners. So honestly, I, I think we're about to take this one. They just don't have any giant- well, they've got one giant who's actually doing well. So, never mind, I take it back. But now we got Spiritans out there who are trying to fight, but they keep getting hit back by the earthquakes. One of ours died, one of theirs died. The wizards are out there just pumping out units left, right, center. But don't worry, my. I feel that we will be victorious. Yeah, Spiritans and Giants, that's just massive amounts of, like, health and being able to soak up enemy damage. And then the archers are gonna come in here, the archdons, rather. And they're gonna just start ripping up any any soft units like those wizards that they have. They do have spiritons though. And they got another giant. So let's go ahead and drop that down and wait for the goal to get another giant, I think. Come on, archers. Yeah, we, we picked the skin that was almost rendered completely useless given the amount of gold you start with. All three giants have fallen. Hey, there's another one. We'll get another giant in here. But yeah, all my units are cheaper than they no otherwise normally would be. Wizards 1200 normally, Spiritons 500, Archerdons 300, the Sword Guy is 125, and I think Miners are default right now. Or maybe they're default- maybe they're 150 normally, but I always have the skin that makes them cheaper. Honestly, this looks like I'm losing this one. Pull back, gentlemen, pull back, pull back. We need some Spiritons. And some more damage to be shot out. Yeah. He's doing a really good job. My skins... Oh my gosh, and this is the semi-final round. Can we turn it around? Alright, we gotta protect the archers. Oh, they got a little too close. Three archers just died to one giant. Honestly, this is not looking very good. Oh, my giant just went down and his giant still has two-thirds health, so... This would have been a good strategy. Fulminate, hee hee. Shout out to SE. I think that's the voice actor who's like, Fulminate! Who did the old Stick War 1 and 2, right? Well, that's sad. It is a sad day for my inner mortons as we get conquered. Actually, pull back. Yeah, that thing's gonna get taken down too quickly. We don't feel 
Well, don't feel bad. I'm like a pro. Oh, and then we can pay more gems. So anyway, the giant skin update is out and some of them look incredible. The savage one I really, really like. And they obviously have a bonus to deads. But man, some of the other ones look pretty cool. This one looks really cool. Damage reflect, user control burn damage, and the earthquake ability. They're all pretty dope. So they're finally here, guys. They are finally here. Thanks for watching another episode of Stick War Legacy. Let me know if you'd like to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next video.